Today I'm starting my Teosui sketchbook. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. Um, I'm starting my Teosui sketchbook today, although technically I've already done one drawing in it, which was like the intro, but this is the proper sketchbook. Um, I didn't intend to do any recording this morning. I was just out, opened up Teosui sketches and I was messing around with the brushes and uh, I sort of came across the paintbrush and it occurred to me that uh, it actually makes a really cool inking brush so I got this idea in my head and I thought I'll just switch the recorder on because this is quite a nice idea and basically uh, there you can see the brush going in but it feels like ink because I'm using obviously black and it's sort of uh, splodging and leaving all these uh, pools of colour. And I just started putting in these random lines, and I thought, this looks a little bit like a, a Chinese drawing. So I saw, I th it gave me the idea of this sort of two converging cliff faces. So I, I put this, this colour wash on, and this is totally out of my head, uh, made up um, sort of just doodling, really. And uh, I thought it was quite interesting and would make a cool video. So um, here it is. I'm pretty much using, well, I used the watercolour brush to get those colours in first. And then I'm using this paintbrush. It's, yeah, I wouldn't call it an oil paintbrush. It could be in a, acrylics, I suppose. But I'm using it much more like this sort of inking brush. So I'm sort of adjusting the thickness of it putting these really fine lines in fact i do change the nib this one that sort of the two bottom options the uh, second the bottom one that gives these really splodgy things where if you press on hard you get these really thick lines and the second to bottom one uh, is more of just sort of fine lining and i think it's supposed to work opposite where if you take the pressure off it gets a bit thicker or, or something like that. You'd have to play around with it to uh, find out uh, for yourself how, how you think it works. But uh, it was those two, the two bottom options were the ones that I was using in that brush. And then I thought, let's put a little hut in here. This will be, this will be quite nice because, you know, people live on the sides of mountains, don't they? That's kind of that steep. And uh, so I, I whacked that in and then I went in with... Uh, another one that you can see at the top and I thought of um, sticking uh, a tree in there and I thought how would they do how would you draw trees in this style so you know, the first few strokes I sort of try and do them uh, how I would normally and I thought oh, that's not working I need something else so I sort of um, sort of wrap me in mind. I honestly didn't look at any re reference photos or anything for this. This is sort of totally out of my head. And um, I thought, I know, I'd sort of put this sort of very flat or, or sort of a slice of a, 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 an arc in there, just sort of putting little leave of lines and then try color colouring that in with a wash. So you can see there I'm putting in these uh, lines. And then uh, the brush was a bit too big, so I had to change the size of it. And then I, I made the colour a little bit stronger till I got um, just what I wanted. And I thought, right, we need another one there. So it, it really is a very simple drawing. The, the old thing only took me 15 minutes from start to finish. But I wanted to share it with you because sometimes, you know, these spontaneous sketches which come out of nowhere, I mean... I don't know anything about Japanese drawing or, or anything like that. But it was just this sort of... I must have seen something that uh, struck a, a note with me that made me think, oh, yeah, I could do this. I must have seen something like this before because I, I can't imagine that I could just invent something like this because it's just totally different, totally different to what I do. I got a splodge there and I liked it. I thought I'm leaving that in. I then used the watercolour brush again, this time just to add in, uh, add a little bit more tone into the drawing. 
And then I think, right, I've got this huge space in the middle. What am I going to do with that? So, um, well, first of all, I'm, I put the water in at the bottom. But these brushes look so natural. It just looks like it's been drawn traditionally. So I go in that really sort of heavy uh, wash, which is way too too strong for what I want. So there we go. Now, what I used here, um, sort of overlap that watercolour, and then I used the uh, blending stump thing to kind of soften that all together. And it worked to some degree, but I wasn't happy with it. I thought it it looks like a, a it, what it is, a sort of a, a smudge that I've tried to uh, get out. So I just undo that, which is great, because you can't do that with uh, real paper. And then I go in again with a wash, and this time I keep the pen to the uh, paper so it doesn't give that kind of harshness, uh, that overlap to it. Then I use the eraser just to cut away at the edge of that mountain. And then I use the stump, the blending stump, just to soften that hard edge up, which there, I think that works fine. So I've just got this gap now, and I've got to do something with that, and I've just put a wash in it. So I'll go back to the uh, paintbrush. There we are, select that. And I, it looks like, here we go. I've, I've chosen an off gray ink, not um, a black ink, to put in a distant hill or mountain or whatever you want to call it. I just love those, that, that brush is so natural looking and it looks like ink that's sort of splodged out from the, the pen. Really like it. So I'm just sort of putting in little bits of fine detail on lines, sort of similar to the, uh, lines that I put on the side of the mountains. And then we go in with a signature. And it's sort of, I'm thinking, right, this is done now. I don't need to do much more to that. And I'm really uh, pleased that I recorded it because it was just, there we are, there's the signature going in now. And um, I'm, I'm pleased I recorded it because it was just something that I was sat down drinking a cup of tea early in the morning. And I just started sketching that and... Oh, I was messing around with the brushes, and I thought, right, I'm going to record that. So that is it. That is my first sketch in Teosui Sketches. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have, big thumbs up, as always, is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, because I have lots of videos like this, and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.